video is about thermistors, what the different types of thermistors are, what the different characteristics of thermistors are, and how that information is processed to make decisions in a system. This is an oven sensor, and this is known as a PTC thermistor. PTC means positive temperature coefficient. And that means that as the temperature increases, its resistance increases. So I've got it hooked up to an ohmmeter here. And as I warm this up, its temperature, its resistance will increase. As I cool it down, this is was ice water, so the ice melted. As I cool it down, the temperature decreases. So that's a positive temperature coefficient thermistor. This is a negative temperature coefficient thermistor, or NTC, out of a refrigerator. And I've got it hooked up to an ohmmeter, and right now we've got 4.96K. As I heat it up in my hand, this NTC thermistor resistance decreases. If I put it in this ice water, the resistance increases. That's an NTC thermistor. Some thermistors, such as this oven sensor, have a fairly linear temperature versus resistance curve. Whereas this NTC refrigerator thermistor happens to have a nonlinear resistance curve. This has ramifications in how the information is processed. Because this is so linear, you could just simply, in say a microcontroller or whatever you're using to interpret this temperature, you could actually just have a linear equation to determine the temperature of this uh, thermistor based on the equation. You could get a pretty close approximation of that temperature. Whereas on this one, you can't really do that. You can, there is an equation for this in the spec sheet. However, it would be very resource intensive for a microcontroller. I've actually done this implementation before and actually had to use a lookup table, which is essentially you have in your microcontroller, you have a table that has all the temperatures and the resistances for those given temperatures, actually their voltages, and I'll show that in a minute how that is implemented. But uh, it's very easy to put a lookup table in a microcontroller and it's permanent non-volatile memory and determine what the temperature is for a given voltage that it's reading. So that's another way that you can interpret the temperature of a thermistor is to use a lookup table. This is basically how a thermistor is interpreted by a microcontroller. You're going to have a, what's known as a voltage divider here and it's going to be processed by the microcontroller but first I will show you how this voltage divider is implemented. This is one way in which you could connect a thermistor to a microcontroller. You would have it in what is known as a voltage divider. You would have your thermistor here. This is going to be your 5 volt supply here. And this is going to be the other resistor in the voltage divider. And what this causes is for this voltage right here, this is your V out to the microcontroller, this voltage here will change with respect to the any changes in this thermistor value. So as a thermistor resistance increases, which in the uh, case of the oven sensor would be an increase in temperature, as this increases, this becomes a larger share of this voltage divider, causing this voltage to go down. As this resistance decreases, this becomes a larger share of the voltage divider here, this resistance, causing the voltage to go up. This voltage can be fed. So that voltage coming from the voltage divider would be fed into an analog to digital converter, which would convert that voltage value into a digital or binary representation that the microcontroller can understand. The algorithm will take that and then either use a formula based on the temperature resistance curve or a lookup table make a comparison in the lookup table, and then make a decision based on that. 
where in the case of the oven sensor, it might say, send a signal to the output port to turn the bake element on by sending a voltage to the relay for that bake element. Or in the case of the refrigerator sensor, it might send a signal to the output port or a, or a number of output ports to control maybe a motor controller to open or close a damper or, or you know, turn the compressor on. That was a quick video on thermistors and how they can be used. I hope you found this video interesting and informative. If so, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel.